hello friends in today's lecture we will be covering uh, newer vaccines uh, we will start with the first vaccine that is leprosy vaccine there are certain updates which you know, need to know about leprosy vaccine as uh, some questions might come in neat entrance exam as well some important points related to leprosy vaccine includes uh, first of all you need to know that leprosy vaccine it comes by name mip vaccine what is this mip this mip stands for mycobacterium endicus prani now what does this uh, how this name came uh, first of all we will discuss this mycobacterium as we all know leprosy it, it is caused by mycobacterium leprae which is an acid fast bacillus so that's why this mic word has been used mycobacterium then indicus why this word indicus has been added indicus because because of india why india because the bacterial species which is used for making this vaccine is from india so that's why this india word has been used then is prani how this word came this is because of this pran this pran and ni there are two words now we'll discuss what does this pran and ni indicate pran this word has been used after the name of person who discovered the species that is it is professor pran talwar then ni word indicates national institute of immunology where trials of the vaccines were conducted this leprosy vaccine trial was conducted in national institute of immunology that's why this ni so the entire name is mycobacterium endicus prani next this mip vaccine is made in india leprosy vaccine this mip vaccine the piloting of this vaccine is going on in five districts of bihar and gujarat this vaccine received approval from cdc and us fda professor gp talwar director of talwar research foundation introduce this mip vaccine basically the motive behind introduc introducing this vaccine were two one he wanted to introduce this vaccine for the contacts of leprosy patients in order uh, in order to the fact that they don't develop de di uh, they don't develop uh, leprosy in future so this was developed for the contacts plus he also introduced it for leprosy patients itself along with mdt therapy in order to treat the patients but in spite of the fact that he introduced the vaccine for these two reasons but approval was not given to gp talwar for using this vaccine for the treatment of leprosy patients rather approval was given that this vaccine can be tested in contacts of the leprosy patients so ilb icmr and ministry of health they accepted this proposal that this vaccine can be tested amongst contacts of leprosy patient now we'll be discussing some points related to the trial of leprosy vaccine this trial of leprosy vaccine was supposed to be conducted as i already told in bihar and gujarat and amongst the amongst the five districts of bihar and gujarat then in the field testing uh, the contacts of the leprosy patient they were supposed to be divided into three groups that is group 1 group 2 and group 3 containing 20 leprosy contact patients in each group 20 in each group first group was decided it was decided that for the first group only rifampicin single dose will be given to them for the second group rifampicin single dose along with mycobacterium endicus prani vaccine will be given to them and for the third 20 contact mip alone will be given after in do, in both the groups where mip is given after 1 to 2 years mycobacterium endicus prani booster will be given 
and after two to five years, MIP second booster will also be given. And after the period of five to seven years, vaccine efficacy will be tested. It is estimated that if this vaccine works properly, then 60% of the patients, of the leprosy patients will be treated or 60% leprosy cases will reduced with the will reduce with the vaccine. Now we will be discussing about the route of the vaccine. Vaccine uh, will be given intradermally, two doses, 0.1 ml each in both the arms. If we talk about booster, in booster we will be giving just one dose in any one arm. So this is the just this this gives you a general idea about leprosy vaccine. For more details, uh, I'll just uh, in, uh, make some points of it and introduce onto my page. Uh, you can have a look on that. Thank you.